the views and opinions expressed on this stream do not necessarily reflect the views of Hybrid Hype Gaming LLC or its affiliates. Yo, what's up? It's your boy AF to the Z. Now, all right, you know me. I be on the internet a lot because, hey, I mean, it's 2020. That, that, that's what we do these days. But, yeah, I got I to gotta speak on a couple things, especially concerning Cyberpunk 2077. Now, I understand there's a lot of hype and a lot of anticipation for this game. But when it came out, it fell flat. And a lot of people talking shit. Now, while you do have a right to be mad, and hey, some people already went and got their, 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 their money back, and you know what, as a consumer, you have every right to do so. But there's a couple things people seem to be missing when it comes to this entire, like, hoopla. Let, so we gotta go over some facts here. First and foremost, alright, let's keep it a buck. You know goddamn well this game was made for PC. This game was not made for console. This is a PC game. Look at all the stuff they was bragging and boasting about. When they was making the game. I mean, you think that shit's gonna work on regular Xbox or regular PlayStation? No, regular Xbox One or regular PlayStation 4? At least, at least it could it should have been at least at the very lowest Series X and PS4 Pro exclusives. Because I'm playing this game on on, on Xbox One right now. Like or I just you know my I just got regular Xbox One. And it looks like shit. I'm not gonna lie. But you know what? So far, I'm still loving the story. I'm loving the concepts. That whole Minority Report, Ghost in the Shell, Jack in, and see all the, the other niggas seeing and shit. I think that shit is dope. But I think it's too much for these systems. I tell you this right now. If you got a top-of-the-line PC, all right, you're good right now. And even then, it still got its problems. Let's bring you on the, the, the point number two. Point number two is this. All right, CD Projekt Red is a bunch of motherfuckers that are working on these games and shit. But they working from home during a goddamn pandemic. This is why they needed all those fucking pushbacks and pushbacks and pushbacks. And to be perfectly honest, they should have pushed it back some more. Because, the, like I tell you this, like, crunch ain't no joke. It really isn't. When it comes to crunches, crunches are fucking serious. Now, I understand it was the whole hoopla about everyone getting mad because my buddy said the crunch isn't that bad. Listen, a crunch is a crunch, all right? Now, I might not be an actual like coder myself but as somebody who studied coding and had to have working projects and products ready to go by a particular time and falling behind and stuff it really fucking sucks and because mind you all right me I, I enrolled in an online school for coding and they teach you not just, you know, your basic coding stuff, but stuff that goes around coding. And one of those things they taught me was planning. Listen, they had that time frame plan they had that time frame plan quite some time ago. Alright? So then you got COVID, then you got all this other shit that happened, that motherfuckers might not have money and whatever that whatever. So they're they're stuck between pushing the game further and further back to to a populace which is already pissed off because of all the dumb shit that's already happening in their real life and they want this magical futuristic world that they can dive into wow, see what i did there they could dive into and enjoy their game and stuff and they couldn't deliver at that particular fr uh, that time frame that's not their fault that really isn't their fault there's a bunch of motherfuckers working from home and me i can't work from home i'm too distracted i got like 18 fucking cents. mind you all right, right here in front of me, all right? Like, you can't see on the screen. But well, right here's my Xbox. Here's my PlayStation 4. Here's a PlayStation 3. And then here's my PC. And I got a whole drawer for a controller. Oh, yeah. Switch behind the TV and a bunch of other stuff. Not to mention the fact that when it comes to gaming, I spent most of my gaming this past month on my phone, all right? So, distractions all afoot. There's shit everywhere. Like, people just kind of need to, yo, yo, chill. Chill. Let them go ahead and fix the game. Because since you guys didn't want to wait for it to come out, all right, now you got to wait for those patches. Wait for the patches, cut them some slack. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Like, I enjoyed the story. I'm enjoying the story so far. I'm running a corporal. I'm running a corporal. Uh, I'm probably about to go ahead and finally meet uh, uh, Johnny Tsunami, whatever the fuck Keanu Reeves' character is. But, uh, long story short, like, you push... To have a product rushed out, you get what you pay for. 
And a lot of these people out here need to stop bitching. That's all I'm saying. So it's your boy, AF2Z. If you like this video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. If you don't like the video, feel free to dislike, comment, and subscribe. Because I think it's about that time that I put the controller down and I start going ham. So I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Love, peace, and chicken grease. I'm out.